Hi everyone, I'm Izzy Long, I'm a third year Harper Adams student, currently on placement with Galebreaker and today I'm at Panda Holsteins where we're chatting to Molly Westwood about her new calf shed and how the Venture Fresh has improved her calf health. Um, I grew up on a dairy farm with a big family and when I was 16 my parents decided to sell up. Uh, I've always loved cows and I moved to Canada. Um, for a year but it turned out to be four. Brought back five embryos and decided to get a mortgage to start out on my own uh, a small breeding business and that's just expanded and gone from strength to strength. Two years ago I felt the need to find a better position for our baby calves and me and my partner built this lovely little calf barn. And the key was for us it's always cow comfort um, ventilation. Um, Ventilation is key with the mature animals too because it helps with the fertility and our business is a revolved around fertility, producing embryos, producing calves. Um, so every pregnancy is key here. So we wanted the barn to be as light as possible. I hate a dark barn. We put in this specialised roof that reflects heat but allows light in. Um, made sure we had ventilation on the sides of the barn without bringing in too much draft. But the key to this barn was the vent tube to allow fresh air coming in onto the calves and blowing out any stale or cold air. This barn can be full of calves, but you won't smell any muck or anything yucky in here. And touch wood, the, we haven't had one calf that's been poorly or anything. So yeah, to me, I feel like we're we're being successful at what we're doing. We have all the calves here in separate pens and they'll work their way up in age order. They stay in that pen until they're weaned. They've always got access to hay, fresh hay, uh, fresh water and nuts and a controlled milk diet as well, which is a powder. And once they're weaned, they'll then go into a group pen, which is there, stay in there a month mature and get strong and then they'll go into the main shed. There's always a cost to any business if an animal is set back a week from an illness or anything like that. One sick calf is, well, that, that animal potentially wouldn't be able to show the first six months of its life because it's been set back two weeks. And we, we don't take an animal to go second at a show. We want to win because um, we're really competitive. So. Yeah, it's really important for us that they all have a really good start. Any dairy farm that doesn't look after their baby calves is losing money. Every single day an animal is being fed, bedded, watered, is costing a farmer money and I've always got that consciously in my mind. Unless this animal doesn't go and do this, then it's going to cost me. So I've got to keep them healthy and happy. And we're a business that's not just national, we're international, so we have visitors all the time. Um, and I'll be selling a lot of calves when they're only just a weaned age, because there's a lot of interest in young calves so that people can, you know, have the dream themselves and show them and win some shows or, or whatever. I've been to a couple of shows where they've had a vent tube in a barn, and I really like the fact that they're not noisy. It's not one big draft, one end of the barn and nothing the other. So yeah, you can't even hear the fan, and I know it's blown all down the shed. Yeah, you can be from one end to the other, lots that end and none this end, and it'd be no different. You know, quite often I'm away for a day at a show or a sale or something like that. Um, it saves that worry in the back of my head. 